There were eight or nine designs and we had a look at all of them and this one kind of stood out as having some just really interesting elements. That discussion that came out of it was the most interesting discussion. In a design like this where there's, there's clearly so many layers, it's trying to get the transparency through the wool. So often you're coming up with colour mixtures which you might not expect in order to create these transparencies as if you're looking through different layers. It's been a very exciting process for me to watch what was starting out as uh, my work is now becoming uh, something else in the process and in the hands of the weavers. I was first introduced to Dovecot by my UK gallerist Paul Stolper and we've been having some discussions with the studios about doing a tapestry for a couple of years now. This tapestry is from a woodcut monotype based on a series of woodcuts called Norwegian Wood that were uh, inspired by Beatles titles. It is challenging and you, you actually you vary as you go, you have very different techniques trying to look to see if you can get it because in certain areas there's more background. The effect here is where you're actually using the bobbins there, mixing the background, whether the background is black or the background is the beige mixed with the gold. You mix them up just to play around and try to get the, the feel of where the saw is touched down and hit the wood. Experimenting, often. But collaboration is all about the chemistry of collaboration. And I think that in this particular case, the chemistry has been a really strong one. Rudy, Freya and Mags together, who've created this beautiful piece. Now, I know I can't ask the two artist weavers to cut off the tapestry. So Mags, it's over to you to do the business. Boom. Yeah.